This is the sword I've been working on. I've gotten it to the point now where I can have a, uh, this, a new saya made for it and the furniture made for it. it and it's, it's not been uh, sharpened or anything like that. And if it needs to be ground uh, with a grinder to fit, that's okay. I haven't sharpened it and it's, it is, this is not its final finish. This is just good enough to start worrying about the other parts that have to be done. Now, the, uh, this is the, the Swords of North Shore that I was trying to copy. And I had originally the same curve, <clears throat> but the problem came, uh, it wasn't sh hardened. So I had to do a second heat treatment. This time I used oil, and the oil straightened my blade. So there's less curve. And so it doesn't match the curve. It's, too, it's not enough. If it, if it would curve more, but it doesn't fit in there. So that's the main problem. The steel is uh, this. This is a roller bearing 1070 steel. And this is just another one that's identical to the one I made into this. So these two things are actually the same thing. Now the, the actual fitting so far um, they're close to fitting. As you can see things are coming along but the handle does not fit. And this will fit. This is the actually part of the handle, but okay, that fits. Anyway, handle don't fit, but then these are individually, f and I haven't gr uh, used a file on the tang yet to, to try to force it to fit. And the main problem I have, as you can see, is that my tang is way sm shorter, because I, I simply ran out of material. There was no choice. Uh, I could make the tang longer, I'd just make the sword shorter. And I wanted to have a two-handed sword. That's the idea. I wanted it to be a two-handed sword. Right now, the way the uh, handle lines up, it would. Uh, there's just. It'd be about right there. There's. There's just not a lot of material. There's the second pinhole right here, and it would be in the steel. But then there's a lot of dead spot. What would work is a one hand, a one-handed handle would work like a charm. You'd actually have to shorten it a little. And that would work. And, so, I mean, I'd be happy with a one-handed uh, handle. I wanted to, but I'd be happy with a one-handed handle. Would be the biggest problem. Uh, it's, uh, it's, the metal's a little thinner, and see, that's the thing. This fits, but it, it's, it's too big, actually. This is just too big. It's made for that one. My, my sword is smaller. So that's the main problem. Uh, as far as why this doesn't fit, at the current time, you know, I, the, you have to, you know, this fits here, so this is supposed to slide all the way on to here, and it's never going to work. It hits, the cutting edge hits the wood, and there is a little gap now, almost like a quarter inch here. It's the wrong curve. I'm too straight, and the wood is curved. So that is the problem that I'm facing. And I hope we can find a solution. Thank you.